Hooke's law states that the extension of an elastic material is directly proportional to the applied force producing the extension, providing the elastic limit is not exceeded. So what does this actually mean? Simply put, Hooke's law basically tells us how far an elastic material will stretch depending on the tension or force applied to it. It is a common law used in physics and engineering. Have you ever wanted to go bungee jumping? How reassured would you feel that the rope attached to your feet would not stretch too far, causing you to hit the ground at 100 km per hour? After the cord passes the point of free fall, it acts as a spring and so falls under the rules of Hooke's law. Through Hooke's law, designers are able to calculate the length the rope will stretch based on the weight of the person attached to it so that the elastic stops stretching before reaching the ground. Hooke's law is named after Robert Hooke, a 17th century British physicist who first stated this law in 1660. So how can we set out to prove this law ourselves? We will now set out to prove Hooke's law by experimentation on a spring and its length when different forces are applied to it. We expect our result to show that the stretch on the spring is directly proportional to the force applied, so if the stretch is x and the force is f, then 2x should equal 2f. Apparatus that you will need include a spring, weights, weighing scales, a ruler, a retort stand and clamps. First set up the apparatus as shown. Measure the length of the spring in its natural state before any force is applied. Then, making sure you weigh the weight first, place one on the end of the spring. Give the spring time to settle, and again take the note of the new length. Also take note of the weight applied to it. Now add another weight and repeat the previous steps of measuring the new length and weight on the spring. Repeat this until you have a table of results. The more results the better. The table of results will contain five columns. The first two will be the length of the spring before any force is applied and the new length afterwards, and both will be measured in metres. The next will be the total stretch of the spring in metres. The next will be the mass applied to the spring and the final column will be the force applied and will be measured in newtons. F equals MA is the formula used in physics to determine the strength of a force. F stands for force and is measured in newtons. M stands for mass and is measured in kilograms and A stands for acceleration and is measured in meters per second squared. In the case of Hooke's law, the acceleration will be gravity 9.8 meters per second squared. Some precautions you will need to take include clamping the stand to the table so that it does not fall over, use enough force that the spring stretches a measurable distance but not so much that its elastic limit is exceeded and becomes permanently stretched and damaged. On the graph, plot the line of force compared to length. Force is on the y-axis and displacement is on the x-axis. This line should be a straight line through the origin of the graph. When the line starts to curve or misshape, the elastic limit of the spring has been exceeded. This means that the spring has been stretched too far and has become disformed and thus no longer follows the rules of Hooke's law. So now you can see that length is proportional to the weight applied. Try out our interactive simulation below and do the experiment yourself.